I, I think USCC is obviously incredibly important for the the crypto industry, right? I mean, it is in in my sense pretty much the the killer app of sort of retail crypto um, because it does solve the the key problem of moving money and moving money quickly and cheaply. I think where and you know this this sort of thesis still needs to be played out, but I think where USDC is going to hit a cap is going to be at scale. So when I talk about the $10 trillion that we're processing every night, so when I talk about the $10 trillion that we're processing every night, and I, you know, I was looking this morning, I think the, the market, uh, sorry, the 24 hour volume for both USDC and USDT is like $25 billion or something. That's like 400 times less than what we do every day. And if you think about having to fully reserve $10 trillion uh, to be able to make those payments every day, that's a lot of liquidity that you're taking out of the system. This problem, and I think we're really close. I mean, USDC itself um, has, we've seen over three and a half trillion dollars of transactions directly on the internet between counterparties. And, and so um, if we can you know, improve it, with more scalable blockchain technologies like you know Brad's company uh, provides more scalable blockchain technologies like you know Brad's company uh, provides so i think that USDC has you know 100% a place to play i don't know that in its current construct it can play at the institutional level clients don't want you know individual bank tokens. They want multi, multi-token, multi multi-border liquidity to, for added efficiencies. And uh, there is a lot of money that is being put in terms of, of trying to solve these technical issues of, of interoperability. Now, the second one is more complicated. It has to do with liquidity. So imagine that you have a pair of currencies for which there is not a, a complementary demand. You need to go and uh, search for a third party uh, uh, currency in order to make this, uh, this settlement actually happen. And this really complicates things. Uh, so we need to put pieces of technology that can uh, make more efficiency this use of liquidity so that more transactions can be settled. We started building RippleNet with the thesis that crypto liquidity would eventually be able to support robust global payments, large payments. RippleNet was designed so that customers seeing the benefits of our fiat-based network could flip the switch to ODL once the market was mature enough. And this is exactly what's happening. Flip the switch. Uh, I think what we're building has, you know, it's solving a real problem. And I think all of the tokens, my advice to anybody would be understand the utility. If there's real utility and there's real value being delivered to a real customer, there will be value in the token. Black Tiger Miner here. Welcome you guys back to the Black Tiger Miner YouTube channel. And today we're talking about XRP since we're part of the XRP army. And in this video, he mentioned moving money quickly. What else technology do we know that does that? I'm just going to throw it out. Caspa, Caspa, Caspa. Remember, but also, he's talking about the 10 trillion, like they replayed that twice. If you didn't catch the video, $10 trillion of transactions they're moving every night. So if crypto does get into this market, there's a $10 trillion cap here. That's just a cap. So it's going to be more than 10 trillion if they're able to move uh, different markets or move money from one country to another country which is the problem now you can't do it company or country to country quickly. So if XRP can do that and do it fast, because I think now it takes two to three days or something. If they could do it overnight, XRP is limitless, right? It's not going to be capped. It's going to keep going and keep growing. 
So I was kind of interested yesterday when they were like, uh, most of XRP holders have less than 500 XRP, which is very weird. But uh, I guess people just don't know. And as the bull market approaches, this is not financial advice, but I would do recommend looking into possibly getting it or at least researching it, right? I mean, like you said, you can have $20 of XRP at uh, 49 cents, I think. And that's what? Uh, 49 cents. And that's um, maybe $10, maybe $11. It's not like you're breaking the bank to buy $20 worth of XRP. But moving on, this is uh, you today, which I thought was USA Today, but it's not. It's you today, which is also pretty slick. But they're saying Ripple transfers over 400 million XRP possible reasons. Ripple moves millions of XRP on chain as potential results sparks new thesis. Uh, American blockchain payments from Ripple Lab has made two XRP transfers that are stirred different theories as to what potential purpose is. According to data insight from Whale Alert, two transfers overnight featured one 75 million move worth 36 million, I guess this is. Tens. Millions, right? Yeah, 36 million. Interesting. <laughs> edit, edit, edit. Uh, 650. So, uh, XRP price suddenly jumps. Here's crazy explanation. While the first transfer moved to an unknown wallet, another transfer of 30 million XRP valued at 14 million was also moved to Bitstamp Exchange. This push to Bitstamp has been linked to two possible scenarios. According to potential sale as or as liquidity for on-demand liquidity ODL platform that Bitstamp is partnered in. Just before publishing the massive sum of 409 million XRP valued at 201 million was moved to Bitvato to a unknown wallet. These XRP in motion are sparking sell-off fears, even though real intentions remain unknown to the industry. At the time of writing, XRP is expected buckling under sell-off pressure with the price at 0 0.942 down point. 32% in the past 24 hours, while the downturn was penetrated by fake news surrounding BlackRock's spot Bitcoin ETF approval. The current XRP movement has also contributed to dampering settlement across the board. Just trying to see if this is worth going into. Some of the XRP transactions from Ripple Labs are well known and considered legal Inaccuracies following the digital currency, the likelihood of a sell-off remains low. This can notably help a flow fears stabilizing the price of the asset moving forward. And then there's this article from you today again, which is not USA Today. I don't even know if they're affiliated. Uh, Exnamo, the Los Angeles-based gaming company, has integrated XRP as a payment method for its roster game, uh, Roblox. Renewed gaming company enabled XRP as a payment form for its game with the help of BitPay process, payment processor. Early adoption da, 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 was established back in 2005, offering a comprehensive suite of services tailored for game developers and publishers BitPay originally integrated SL back in 2014, aiming to streamline in-game transactions. BitPay added global support for XRP following legal wins that provided regulatory clarity for the controversial cryptocurrency. Introduction allows BitPay users to securely buy, store, and swap XRP through BitPay wallets. Moreover, the update enables merchants to accept 
XRP payments from over 100 different wallets, reflecting BitPay's intention to be a front runner in the crypto payment versatility. The move by BitPay expands its cryptocurrency portfolio, which now enables 16 of the top digital cryptocurrencies globally, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, Shiba Inu, and Dogecoin. And why is everybody accepting Shiba Inu? Shiba Inu is pretty much pennies, but no worries. Get to the prices. Um, Q Bista, Bista is saying, uh, silent before the storm. We know the price is now minimal 200 per unit. How long you want to keep it a secret? Uh, most of this is. X shows XRP is valued at $200 each in private ledgers. Interesting. Wonder what the public blockchain will start increasing XRP's price. Uh, what drove XRP record to a staggering dollar or 1 billion in 24 hours? XRP trade volume soars by 57% major exchanges lead the exchange, which is interesting because we're looking at the price here. It's saying it's down uh, 93% today to uh, 0 0.49. So that's 49 cents. Market cap is down to 26 billion, down 0 0.93%. Volume is down 25.3% to 789 million and 24 hour trading volume. Circulating supplies 53 billion, total supplies 99 billion, max supplies 100 billion, fully diluted market share, market cap is 49 billion. Let me know if these numbers aren't correct and just kind of glance at going through it. Uh, what drove XRPs to a record staggering 103 billion in the last 24 hours? And it's weird because I don't see these prices. Um, XRP trade volume went to a 57% upsurge, reaching 1 billion in the last 24 hour frame. The ever volatile realm of cryptocurrency, the hedges trade volume speaks volumes about the renewed investor enthusiasm. XRP in its recent 57% spike recorded an impressive 1 billion in 24 hour trading volume. The last time such vigor envelope XRP was October 4th. Placing seventh in global hierarchy in the 24 hour trade among the vast pool of 1.8 billion tokens, XRP is making its presence felt. Binance, the Titan of Exchanges, has been pivotal in the resurgence, contributing 18.2% of XRP's total volume. Falling close are South Korea's prominent exchanges up bit, bit thumb volumes of 21 or 71 million and 49 million respectively. In contrast, Coinbase America's foremost exchange posted a more conservative figure of 28 million. So that's weird that Coinbase is lagging behind. This is South Korea. So I, I don't know. I'm not sure what the regulations, how it's affecting Coinbase. And if possible, will that start the Coinbase to go back up? Yet while XRP reveals an ascending, Bitcoin remains on the throne with a colossal volume of $25.9 billion. It dwarfs XRP figures by 25 times. Factors such an enormous report on BlackRock spot BTC ETF played in the role of the uptick. But beyond mere figures, Bitcoin's trade volume invokes the cryptocurrency's undiminished allure and clout. Both XRP and Bitcoin underscore the dynamics of the crypto market, but we have gazed into the future. Ripple and XRP's perspective, some luminous. Their ability to adapt and innovate promises a bright trajectory in an even ever evolving crypto landscape. 
So back to the numbers, this is CoinGecko. CoinGecko says it ranks fourth, so it failed, I mean fifth, so it fell from four down to five, and it's 0 0.49 down 1.2%. Bitcoin's down 1.3. Market cap is 26 billion. 24-hour trading volume is 729 million. Fully diluted valuation is 49 billion. Circulating supply is 53 billion. Total supply is 99 billion and max supply is 100 billion. Then we'll go down to 24 hour trading volume. 24 hour low is 0 0.488. 24 hour high is 0 0.499. Seven day low is 0 0.476. Seven day high is 0 0.449. Trading volume is 726 million. Market cap is five. And all-time high is $3.40, so it's down 85.49% since July 7, 2018, almost six years ago. And the all-time low is 0 0.00026, and that was nine years ago, uh, May 26, 2014. So it's up 18,260% from nine years ago. Then uh, Live Coin Watch is saying market cap is sorry the price is zero point four nine two market cap is twenty six point three billion twenty four hour volume is seven sixty two million volume versus cap is two point nine zero last hour it's down zero point three five percent last twenty four hours is down zero point seven four last seven days is down 1.14 30 days is down 0 0.33 percent last 90 days is down 40.86 percent and for the year it's up 3.81 percent circulating supplies 53.4 billion total supplies 99.9 billion max supplies 100 billion and market cap is 49.2 billion they're saying 24-hour range is 0 0.488, 24-hour high is 0 0.499, 498. And it looks like this last seven days, it did do a lot of consolidating, and now it's starting to come up slightly. And I was trying to see if I had Trader View open, but I don't. So we'll look at this on Live Coin Watch. And if you can see, since about August... This is August. What is this? Yeah, August 17th has been pretty flat. So I'm not sure where the big news is coming from or if it's going to take off. But let me know what you think about XRP. If you like it, you don't like it. And if you don't like it, why you don't like it or any other new information that's coming. And if you think it's set for a takeoff, I think at some point it's going to start running. Just trying to wait to see when it'll reach a dollar so let me know the month and year you think it'll reach a dollar and i guess that's it a big shout out to the xrp army and let's get back to the money